Hello, beta testers. On March 18th, Marvel's Avengers will finally have campaign replay. This apparently took seven months to be implemented, but is such a big deal that it's one of the two features prominently displayed on this promotional image. You know what nobody else is talking about? How they half-assed campaign replay too because you cannot replay individual missions or even select a chapter to start from. You want to play something specific, you need to sit through hours of Kamala Khan. Did you know that in the Outriders demo you can actually select where in the campaign you want to replay? The demo. That's also published by Square Enix, so... Avengers doesn't have crossplay and cannot just make all campaign missions available. Is that a triumph to you? Or is it pathetic? To shills, the exact term they'll all use to describe this upcoming content is huge, but to someone like me who doesn't have their mouth full, I don't consider a second archer in seven months or a game being patched to perform the way it should have at launch, huge. I think misspelling villain on a promotional image is huge. To whichever developer answered my question on the stream, respect. But half-assing campaign replay is such a stupid decision, and here's why. The biggest potential spenders would love the ability to see the heroes in the skins that they've bought for them all together in scenes like the ones on the helicarrier during the Modoc boss finale. Ideally, you should probably have a cutscene theater to just replay cutscenes with the player assigned skin. I don't care for this boring ass campaign, but even I would like to go back and replay an Iron Man mission. See Thor, Hulk, and Tony on the helicarrier again, since you're not allowing us to change the environment and the harm rooms. You're really gonna force people to sit through Kamala just to replay an Iron Man flight mission? You're really doubling down on these ugly ass skins from comic book runs no one's heard of and people certainly don't care about? Campaign replay, but no chapter selection. Customize harm rooms, but it's only solo and you can't change modifiers or the environment. You say it's coming, which is a good decision, especially if you allow this holographic room to live up to its potential. Make it a space that's imaginative and creative. Don't just include set dressing for things and places that already exist. Get weird. Get crazy. Be Marvel. This forest, desert, snow, biome shit. I'll tell you what the real tragedy here is. No two people with an actual brain can talk about the development of Marvel's Avengers without asking themselves, why do we need to be the ones to say this to you? Are you so ignorant of the space that you're in gaming-wise that you need to be told that there should be emote previews at vendors? That there should be an emote wheel? Slurpers are out here forever parroting the It doesn't affect me, so it is what it is because they forget they're supposed to pretend to care about the future of this property. I cared, so it did affect me, even if it wouldn't normally. And since I would rather show people than tell them, you saw me everywhere advocating for the same shit so that you wouldn't be able to flip that script later and tell me, oh, well, we weren't hearing you properly, so we figured we'd just increase the grind because it seemed like you guys were confused. Is that what I said? Or, or have my points been the same? This JPEG may excite someone who hasn't already played this game, but what about the players who have played it already? Where is the assurance that any of these problems will be fixed? Is a turd suddenly not a turd when it's presented in 4K? We watched you release Kate Bishop and not include the super adaptoid in the villain sectors. We watched you lock challenge modes and plan to keep them locked for over a month. You increased grind by removing challenge completion eligibility while playing in the harm room. 
And now you're increasing grind by slowing level progression from 1 to 50. Dailies are still broken. Buttons won't go down when people are standing on them. Enemies won't spawn. Players are still falling through the map. And what you could be showing us is a build of the game where you assure us you've at the very least put some goddamn work into it. People want to see new loot, which villains you're adding to the sectors. You could even show small quality of life changes, gear locking, vault space increases, changes to hero traversal. The sad truth is that the things this game is missing can't even be acknowledged without making the game look as bad as it is. It's a catch-22. And it's happening right now. You announcing that you have campaign replay after seven months? Of course, a normal person would react. It didn't already have that. And what does a defender say to that? <laughs> well, things are hard. You're being toxic. Seven months? And then look at you now. You can't even, like, choose a mission? You... Crystal Dynamics. Will Mega Hives be made multiplayer? Or will there still be no endgame? Are dailies going to be fixed? This is month seven. You are a live service. Will we finally get rewards for leveling up past level 50? Will faction caps be removed? Ugly skins make profit for you impossible. But bad decisions like these? To those of you commenting and messaging, realizing now that you helped sink this ship by deliberately ignoring the holes and the problems that this thing had, I mean, what can you do but be better moving into the future? Lying about how huge the second archer drop in seven months is? What if the game's buggy? What if you invite people to play something that would immediately, just like it did with many at launch, ruin the chance of them ever potentially actually playing this in the future when it was in a more stable spot? That's the problem with shilling. Even if I were to be explosively generous, I couldn't hide that this game is simply bad. I'll pretend to be a defender for this exercise. Is Marvel's Avengers good? Well, I have fun, and I think it's a fun game, and like, that's what matters. What kind of game is it? It's a brawler looter. Is the loot good? It depends on your drops, but more and better loot is coming. How often do they update? Well, the last main update was in December, and but, but another one's coming March 18th, so that's like just over a week. So once every three months? <laughs> well, yeah, but it was a crazy year, and everything's free. Everything that's coming is free, so uh, that it's... Which superheroes did they add? Well, there's only one in the game now, her name's Kate Bishop, but on the 18th, Hawkeye is going to be in there, so that's two, it's two archers, and, but they add a villain. They added a villain with the Kate, even though it's not in the villain sectors, but Maestro is coming, and... How many villains are in the game? <sighs> Modoc, Abomination, Taskmaster, and Super Adaptoid. And soon Super Adaptoid will be in the villain sectors with Maestro and Modoc and Can maybe... Can play as any of them? No, but personally I don't like playing as villains so that doesn't really affect me, you know? Like, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. <laughs> and scene, okay? I love you to death. Thanks for the likes and subscriptions. Keep me abreast of what's going on. And I'll be there to bug test when all of this goes live. Bye. Beta testers.